The Dark Side Chronicles. All right. Let me go back to the beginning. My fight against bio-warfare all started in a zombie-infested ghost town. It was September 1998. My first and only day as a police officer. Get down! Not bad. I never thought any of this stuff my brother taught me would work. Stars? A special force issue, huh? It's my brother's. That's why I'm here. To find him. I'm Claire Redfield. Hey. Leon Kennedy. So, what exactly is going on around here? No clue. I just got here myself. Well then, I guess I shouldn't rely on you to show me about. Damn it, I can't get a signal on this thing either. Hey, let's go over to the police station. We should be able to find out something there. Right. It could blow up at any minute. Let's go. What's your brother's name? Chris. Chris Redfield. What? Where are they all coming from? Oh no, they're over here too! firepower we can. What? We need guns. We'd better get out of here. We should go out the back. What's wrong with this town? What the hell are they? Hey, I'm a rookie. Don't ask me. I just got here. What is that? Do you smell that? Oh, God, it reeks. Something must be rotting. We'd better be careful. Let's go. They got the hot seat.
so right now. Let's go. Right. How come they only attack humans? The man in the gun shop. They wanted to... Let's not think about that for now. We're not the only ones left alive, are we? No, of course not. Can't give up. There's gotta be someone left alive. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> Where'd that come from? They're coming! Gotta find shelter. There's a the street. Careful. You may strike at any time. This is like a horror movie. But you don't have to do this many stunts in a horror movie. All right. If we can get through here, the police station is close. It's so quiet. Yeah, but this place is in ruins too. Maybe they all evacuated. I hope so. The Raccoon City Police Station is only two blocks away. Better get moving. Leo, look! These things are everywhere! Taking forever. There's too many of them. They won't let us through. This isn't looking good. We can't kill them all. It's already broken. There it is. That's the Raccoon City Police Department. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Run! It'll catch fire! Get up. Leon, behind you! So, what do you think of your new job so far? 
Looks like the only life I'll have to save is my own. station is secure. Let's take a break. Because it looks like it's gonna be a long night. Look! Who is that? Hey! You okay? Who the hell are you? Don't shoot! We're human! Oh... The rookie. Like your welcome party? Nice surprise, huh? Who are you? Marvin Brano. I'm the guy who's supposed to be your boss. You need a doctor. No, don't worry about me. You gotta go help the others. But... Just go. Now. Alright, but we'll be back. Hello? Anyone there? What's that? What is this? something here. My god. safe here anymore. Let's 
go upstairs. Someone might be there. Okay. Too quiet. She isn't here either. We'll find her. we can do. We better go find that girl. better if we stick together. After all, I don't want to pull my gun on you. Same here. Here fast! 
hell on earth. Whether you're in the station or outside on the streets, it's all the same. We gotta find her fast. Yeah. Get in, quick! Which way should we go? Now, let's try to the right. Is that a rescue helicopter? is to find that girl. Go! 
Are you all right? I'm okay. Shh. Something's back there. Isn't she beautiful? I was about to stuff her. Chief Irons? You know him? Prowling around at a time like this. You're after G, too, aren't you? G? Don't play dumb with me! Oh. Aren't you Dr. Perkins? I bleed. That's not supposed to happen. Well, I... Sherry! Hold on! We need to stop this thing first! stand for I have no idea but we should find Sherry first You're right I'm pretty sure she's still around here somewhere Let's go then Fine, thank you. You saved me some bullets. I'm Leon. This is Claire. And you are? Ada Wong. Hey, you're a cop here, right? Do you know a Ben Bertolucci? I'm looking for him. Sorry, but I just got assigned here. What are you doing here? Ben has information regarding this crisis. What kind of information? Not sure exactly. But that's what I'm here to find out. 
Hey! <laughs> what is with her? Claire, come on. W wait a second. Behind you! See? See what comes. Hey, hold up! What is it? Look out! Are you all right? Yes. Look, I know we don't know each other, but we're the only survivors left. We need to work together. Shh. What is that? No! Get away from me! Ben? <laughs> It's coming this way. Idea. What about you? You know anything? Huh? No. This is all new to me. But that scream. Yeah. We better check it out. Pharmaceutical giant at Umbrella. Look at this. The station and the lower level lab at Umbrella are connected by a sewer. If we can get access to that sewer, we can get out of here. Huh? Where'd she go? Ada? She was just here. Where'd she go? Ada! The body's gone! Finally headed for the sewer. to the sewer. Let's go. Wait, Leon. If she did come through here, why would she go alone? There, there's something about her that bothers me. She just wants to get out of here, Claire. And she needs our help. Ugh, men. You just want to impress her, don't you? <laughs> Women. Stinks. I hate sewers. Ugh, this is never gonna work. Ah! Didn't take him out. Ugh. 
Give me a zombie any day over this. And they're behind us too! Anybody in here? Leon? Ada, is that you? Are you alright? Yeah. Here. I thought you could use this. Good luck, Leon. This is goodbye. Oh, what? Ada, wait! There she goes again. If she can get out of here safely, that's all that matters. Well... If you're worried about her, we could go after her. No, it's fine. We need to find Sherry. Okay. Not again! Yeah. 
Ada! There's nothing here for you, thief! Ada! No! no! Farewell. God. It was a woman. Wait, you mean? No. Not Ada. She. You're losing a lot of blood. Don't move. I've got to remove the bullet. Who was that? She was about to kill you. That's my problem, not yours. Fine. Don't tell me. But you better start working with me here. Uh. Or we'll never make it out of this alive. Please, Ada. I need your help. I can't do this alone. You're right. I'll help you. Thanks. But first, we need to find the others. Don't die, Leon. I owe you. I guess she's on our side then. Lucky us. Let's go. We need to find Sherry. Leon? Yeah. Come on. Let's just find her and get out of here. Dark in here, huh? Yeah. Good thing we have a flashlight. Something's in here. Listen. seem to catch a break in this place, huh? You said it. Oh, 
those things are freaking huge. into the sewer. Roaches. A little oversized. I think this will take us somewhere. There's a light! This place is crawling with these things! Sherry?
attention. We just want to get out of the city alive. I don't think you understand what's going on here. Now is not the time for us to be pulling guns on each other. The city has been destroyed. So? Please, we don't have time for this. Have you seen a little girl? She's about ten years old. Her name is Sherry. Sherry? Do you know her? Sherry is my daughter. What? I told her to hide in the police station. William must be after her. William? William Birkin. He's Sherry's father, and the man who turned this city into a living hell to protect G. G again? What the hell is a G? The G virus. It's the next generation virus that William and I developed at our daughter's expense. A uh, next generation virus? forms a living thing and rapidly evolves into transcendental levels, a boom for these modern times. Or so it was supposed to be. This is Hunk. We've acquired all the G samples. Mission completed. will save me. <laughs> but the virus was flawed. Even if you survive the zero conversion with G, you become nothing more than a puppet to its will. Our research was a failure. His only concern now is to procreate. People with a genetic makeup similar to his own could stand to birth a superior offspring. <laughs> Sherry, come on, we have to help her. I can't, I've got unfinished business to attend to. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. If the embryo's been implanted, only the vaccine from the underground lab could save her. William, it's time to finish this. Everything's all right. It's us. Ah! What's going on? An earthquake! That's no earthquake! What was that? Shit! I don't believe this!
more of this! After reuniting with Sherry, we managed to escape from the underground sewer, only to be faced with a new problem. Sherry became sick. She told us that while she'd been wandering the depths of the sewers, she had been implanted with a G-embryo. But it wasn't too late. We began our journey into the bowels of the Umbrella facility to retrieve the vaccine. How do you feel? It's okay. You're safe here. You can have it. It's yours now. For good luck. Thank you. Do you miss your mommy and daddy? No. They're always more preoccupied with their research. But you know, I prefer to be alone. Come on, we better hurry. She's getting worse. Okay. Sherry, hang in there. We're gonna get the vaccine to make you better, okay? Cliff! I promise we'll be back. Just wait here. We won't be long. We'll have to search the rooms, one by one. Wait. I'm picking up something. A signal. A radio signal? From who? Do you read me? Annette? Is Sherry there? Yeah. She was attacked. She's in critical condition. Where are you now? Hey! You still there? Be careful. Especially with that woman. What woman? Ada. She's a special agent sent here to retrieve the G sample. She was approaching the researchers and obtaining information about Umbrella. She'll do whatever it takes to accomplish her purpose. She's highly dangerous. I think you're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. Ada isn't. Annette! Annette! Damn it, she hung up on me. Look, we don't have time for her right now. I know. Finding vaccine for Sherry is her top priority. Let's go. Oh, you got to be kidding me! I didn't think they'd be here, too! What the?! You tricked me again! Why won't you just leave us alone? I can't fight him! Shory's right next door! Right! You want some of this? Attention! Leon. Out of time. What the hell? Oh, 
was it? A plant? A human? I don't think it's either one. And we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah, let's go. coming after us. Wait, do you think he's going after Sherry? No, I'm sure he followed us. See? I was right. choice but to run. He's here! It's so hot in here. Wait! Down there! The blast furnace. If we could just push him over. Alright, come on now, Trenchy! Let's finish this once and for all. Watch out! There aren't any handrails! 
Even better! There you go. One of Umbrella's failed experiments. Ada. This place is gonna blow. There isn't much time left. Leon, you have to get out of here. No, not without you. It's strange. I barely know you. But I knew you'd say that. Uh... Ada. <sighs> Favor returned. I'll go get Sherry's back. It's too dangerous. I'll go with you. Thanks. Let's do this. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't think time is on our side.
boats on you guys? I wonder if Sherry's all right. She ran all the way here and did just fine. Look, it won't take much longer. She'll be all right. Yeah, I guess. the lab. Yeah, let's go. We're running out of time. I guess this won't be that easy, huh? I'm gonna kick their ass.
we go. Let's head straight. It's so quiet. Yeah. Not to mention. came through there. Get back to Sherry. Right.
você!
careful! have time to wait around and find out. Once we give Sherry the vaccine, we're out of here. All right. Let's go. The vaccine worked, and Sherry recovered. But time was running out. The seconds of the countdown to self-destruction were slipping by, and our only escape was through a hidden subway. Go. Done here. Yeah. Come on, Cherry. <sighs> okay.
voice we heard. Leon, hurry! Yeah. It's over. Not yet. I still have to find my brother. Yeah. What the? What was that? Claire? Everything's all right. I'll go have a look. Be okay now, aren't we? Sherry, I have something to tell you about your mother. <laughs> I 
The vaccine that saved you. It was from your mother. She loved you very much. Always has. Right up till the end. No, that's a lie. Mommy never... <laughs> After that, Claire set out alone to find her brother. And Sherry and I were rescued by U.S. government agents. We have the authority to do as we please with you. You and that girl. Just leave her out of this. She's an innocent. An innocent who carries the G antibody. Don't worry. We're taking very good care of her. Bottom line is, you have the experience we're looking for. So if you want this to end peacefully, you really have only one choice. Work for us. And just like that, I found myself in the service of the U.S. government. They were aristocrats, entitled and sustained by a greed for power. Having been involved in the foundation of Umbrella, the Ashford family had also independently performed research on the Veronica virus. However, 15 years ago, Alexander Ashford disappeared under mysterious circumstances. To make things worse, Alexander's daughter Alexia, a child prodigy who played a key role in the research, died at a young age. Her untimely demise brought an end to the Veronica project and the Umbrella Files show that all research was apparently lost. The Ashford lineage gradually lost its power to the corrupt hands of the Umbrella Corporation. Alexia's brother, Alfred, was demoted to a mere supervisor, and he was sent to command a private detention facility on an isolated island in the Southern Seas, alone. I feel like this year may be special, don't you, Alexia? It's almost like there's something I'm forgetting. My dear Alfred, please be easy on yourself. Why don't you set down your burdens and play a game with me? You're right, Alexia. Since you've come back, I've never been this happy. Which way? Wait! I wasn't trying to escape. I just... The alarm sounded and the door unlocked. I thought that I... Rockford uh, Prison, uh, detainee 267. <laughs> Guess you're not with Umbrella, then, are you? I'm Claire Redfield. Damn, girl. You scared me. Eyes forward. <laughs> so, what's your name? My name's Steve. You don't look like one of them, Claire. They get you too? Yeah, you could say that. What's happening on this island? Someone must have attacked. Caused a biohazard. Biohazard? I don't have time to explain everything. Let's just get out of here. Well, feel free to leave. No one's stopping you. <gasps> what the hell's going on here? Why are they after us? Look, we've got two choices here. Kill or be killed. Your call. <laughs> It'd be nice to have another option, but oh well. Hope you know how to use that thing. Come and get me, goddammit! Damn! How many are there? Come on, 
This way! This must be a detention facility. Yeah. This is where I was locked up. Anyone else in here with you? Yeah. I broke free right after all this happened. I have no idea what caused this. Look, there's some information I need to find out. Were there any computers around here? There are three. The guards had them. Only used them for games. Oh, and porn, too. Maybe I'll be able to find out what happened to Chris. Well, I guess it's not your kind of humor. Hey, where are you going? You don't have to come if you don't want to. I know. So we're gonna be dealing with. Let's get inside. All right, here we go. I know it's a mess, but feel free to make yourself at home. I wish I knew, and took off without looking back. There it is. I'm gonna take a look. What was that? I think it was just the wind. Look, what are you trying to find out, anyway? Uh, that's not wind. Yeah, I know, but... Hey! Great. Now I gotta deal with this girl's power trip on top of everything else. They didn't make it in time. Was he your cellmate? I can't even tell anymore. Hey, I think we should go back. I have a bad feeling about this. Go right ahead. Stop fooling around! Yeah, 
them all. They're pretty good, huh? Well, you're not a complete waste. I hope this still works. Looks like my brother was never even here. Umbrella probably doesn't know where he is either. What did he do? Why are they after him? I don't know. But he's been missing for three months. I was in Paris looking for him. I broke into one of Umbrella's labs. But I got caught. And you were sent here. What about you? What's your story? Uh, it's dumb. You don't want to know. <laughs> Just tell me. <laughs> I didn't even do anything. Some other jackass screwed up. Landed the two of us in here. So we're in the Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. So you don't know much about this place, do you? Apparently some noble family owned the joint. The Ashfords. That's Alfred. He's the only surviving member. Rumor has it, he went mad from loneliness. But why would anyone want to bomb this place? Anyway, I've got to contact Leon. He'll come for us. following us.
might be our way out of here. Let's find out. do? She must be out of her mind singing a lullaby at a time like this. That's exactly why I can't leave her out here all alone. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. I should have just left you alone too. She went. I won't be surprised if we find her dead body. Let's go straight. Hopefully this will lead us off the island. The bats! Again? Are they following us or what? Blair, behind you! Oh, I don't have time for this! is for. It's 
locked. Aren't there any normal human beings left? How are we gonna find her with so many of these things coming at us? Go check. Alfred was the only surviving family member, right? <laughs> Feels like we're walking into a trap. I can't believe we're following the singing voice of a dead woman. We can always pretend we didn't hear anything. I guess no one's here. What the hell is this? It's an antique music box. What's it doing here? It's still warm. Something's not right about this. Wait, that boy. Is that Alfred? Is that her brother? What are they doing? I think we've seen enough to know that this isn't a good idea. Yeah. I think it's time to go. Ashford, son of Alexander Ashford. That's him. Why have you come to disturb us? Was it you? Was it you who spread that wretched virus across my island? That's got nothing to do with us. Look, we all need to get out of here right now, okay? <laughs> Fool. She has only just now returned to me. <laughs> Why would I want to leave? Who? You mean... Alexia? <laughs> she always did enjoy playing games. And she has come up with the most splendid game for us to play. Games? 
If you survive our challenge, I will personally present you with a getaway plane as your prize. Ready? Let the game begin! Come on! Run! Run! My little rats! You're <laughs> sitting ducks just hiding here like this! He's not stopping! We need to fire back! my little rat. Aren't you having fun? Who are you calling a rat? Steve! I'm not gonna die here! <laughs> You're doing so well, my little rat. You son of a... Stop! choice here. Uh. We either stay here and possibly die or catch him and find out how to get off this island. It's one or the other. All right. Let's get this over with. Now you're talking. I'm no rat, and I'm gonna make that very clear to him. he was talking about.
careful. They could be hiding anywhere. Quiet. Nobody seems to be here. It has to be behind this door. We're knowingly walking into our enemy's trap. I think we should be careful about this. By that you're referring to yourself, right? Yeah, I thought so. some kid who's afraid of the dark. Steve, the guy's nuts. Don't trust him. <sighs> Great. Another cheap scare. Ah, I've had about enough of this. Huh? What's this? Shh. World Records! Go up. It's Alfred. Welcome to the training ground. <laughs> it's just no fun if you hide. Come on out. I promise not to kill you. Just yet. Cover me. Right. This guy's begging to get his ass kicked. <laughs> what the hell did he just throw?
What the hell is this place? A training facility? This guy definitely needs his head examined. Problems. That's for sure. Don't let him provoke you. How rude! I was merely trying to be kind. Looks like nothing's here. you from all evil spirits. Yeah, right. By the way, thanks. This place. It sure doesn't look like a training field to me. This is insane. Insane? Please. War knows no sanity. The soldiers are trained here to kill, to slaughter, to survive whatever madness they witness. And now, it's your turn, my little fat rats. Of course, if you've had enough, you can end it right here. All you have to do <laughs> is die. <laughs> Steve, we'll do whatever it takes to get through this, okay? something real nuts again. Yeah, you're right. We should be careful. Oh, yes! Please try! Love your 
same. Dead soon. it? 
I was hoping for a challenge. Hey! Are you deaf? Come on out! Steve, what's wrong? Done already? I was just warming up! I ain't finished yet! <sighs> Let's go. I'm gonna lose my mind if I stay here any longer. something on the other side. He worked for Umbrella. Nobody, just another face in the crowd. He was a rat. A mole. He tried to leak some data, make some quick cash, but they caught him. And they killed my mother. And then they took me. Steve. It was his fault. He was stupid. He was... Let's go.
struggle we humans are capable of. <laughs> but let's not forget the game, shall we? Your next and final challenge awaits within my mansion. Wherever you are is where I'm going! And when I find you, I'm gonna rip you to pieces! Ooh, splendid! But first, how about a little brain teaser? The girl and boy, destined to be one, will reveal the way. Girl and boy? What? Take your time to think about it. Oh, my God. Before you do that, there's something coming, and it's big! It's coming this way!
Yeah, I took care of his little pet. And he's next. My bet is it's connected to that music box we saw. We have to go back to that room then. Claire! What? Don't you see them? Let's get going. There could be anything hiding in here. You're right. <sighs> Give me a break. You know, cute when you're scared. <sighs> Shut up. to make them meet, right? Crap. Oh, we killed them. We gotta start over now. That sucks. Door. Which means someone really doesn't want anyone to go inside. Where's it gone? Huh. Check that out! I think 
we did well! this leads to whatever secrets they don't want us to discover attacked this island upon hearing the news of an awakening, but it seems it was a pretense. Steve! Who is it? Though ironically, I feel you will lead me to the truth regardless. Chris's little sister. You're nothing more than a coward! Show yourself, dammit! He... he mentioned my brother's name. Who was that? on how to get off this island. This... is creepy. I know Alfred is here, somewhere. Someone should fire their interior decorator. Okay. 
just keep going. Okay. Veronica. The Veronica virus. No. I can't. I can't remember anymore. My head is ready to explode. Alexia. Please don't be so hard on yourself, brother. We can still have much fun playing our game. Did you hear that? Yeah, she is alive after all. I knew something was wrong. Let's finish this. Where'd they go? Nobody's here? There's probably another hidden passage in here somewhere. Maybe. Let's look for one. I guess we just keep shooting until we find it. Yeah, there has to be something. Look, it's glowing. A ladder. I got it. He's up there. This place is full of toys. Why would he need these? What is this room for? This doesn't look like a study to me. It's just a toy room. Isn't he too old for toys? That's far enough. So, we finally meet, Claire Redfield. I am Alexia Ashford, and on behalf of my brother, I will now say goodbye. <laughs> this is where you two are going to die. Regret this. What an arrogant bitch! Get your ass out here! Make you wish you never said that. No one disrespects my dear brother. 
Like we give a shit! Alfred was playing two roles all by himself. He couldn't bear the fact that his sister was dead. What is this key for? I guess we'll find out when we reach the airport. How dare you destroy my world! But you did remind me of one very important thing. I no longer need these toys. What now? The self-destroying system has been activated. All facilities across the island will be terminated. Please evacuate the premises immediately. Terminated? It can't be serious! Sounds like playtime's over. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Hey guys, y'all came to say goodbye? We don't have time for jokes! Tell Alfred to take care!
know, but... Seems okay in here. Wait, there's something down there. I can't see anything from here. Is it too risky to go down? But we have no choice. Right. This way. Are you sure? Trust me. Look out! Shit! Is that one of his foot soldiers? Run! Couldn't agree more. Actually defeat it. Don't let your guard down just yet. Yeah, we're running out of time. Let's hurry. Oh, this is our way off this island. Wait, something is wrong here. We don't have time. Let's go. Code Veronica in Claire! Open gate two B for takeoff. <laughs> I knew you would lead me to the truth. We get the hell off this damn island. We're finally free! Autopilot activated. What? What the hell's going on? Taken my plane. 
It will only prove for more entertainment. <laughs> what was that? Something is stuck to the pontoon! I'll go back to the cargo room and take a look. What is this? You're only playing dead? That's cheating! The seaplane carrying Steve and Claire began to descend and made an emergency landing at an unknown facility, a forgotten site that was just yet another playground. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. 
Latitude 82 degrees 17 minutes south. We're, we're at the South Pole. What? This doesn't look like a tropical island. I don't think this will do us much good anymore. What is this place? Doesn't look like anyone's been around for a while. Another one of Umbrella's facilities? We need to find a way out of here before we freeze to death. Right. Wait. Look! Oh, great! The zombies are popping out everywhere these days, huh? Oh, crazy bastards! First, we should be careful. You hear that? Uh huh. And I don't think it's the welcoming party. It's too dark. Do you want to go back? Dead end. Can we get down there? Let's find out. We can't go through here, it's locked. What?
Steve! Well, it's not the wind, that's for sure. It's okay. I'm right here by your side. Yeah, my knight in shining armor, huh? facility.
Claire, look up. This is the room we saw earlier. This looks like where they sort baggage. Like someone's too shy to come out. Damn it, where's it hiding? So tough after all, huh? Stay sharp. Okay. What's 
this for? It's locked. Look, there's another one. Awakening. What does that mean? I don't know. The guy was insane. He said, the Queen's awakening. <sighs> that doesn't sound good. Let's hurry. Okay.
screaming stopped. Maybe you finally got tired of chasing us? I hope so.
can't go down that way. Blair, you like to swing? Excuse me? Cut that wire! Okay, I'll shoot the joint. Good job. Let's have some fun. Out of here once and for all. Forgive me, Alexia. I thought I could finish them alone. <laughs> Awaken from your slumber and bring forth the great Veronica. Once Chris disappeared after the mansion incident, he was near impossible to track down. But using my newfound position in the government, I eventually discovered his location. I would have contacted his sister, but she was a ghost herself. So I turned my search over to Claire then, and eventually learned of her confinement on Rockford Island. I shared this information with Chris, and he asked me to arrange a rescue mission before he set off on his own to find her. Claire! Claire! Huh? Chris? Chris! I've been so worried! You kidding me? I thought tough girls like you didn't get worried. <laughs> what happened? How did you get here? Leon contacted me. Leon? You know him? Yeah. He tracked me down right after you went missing. Look, Claire, we can talk about this later. 
But we gotta get out of here first. Wait, Steve, he's here somewhere. We can't leave without him. <sighs> You're Alexia Ashford. Oh, you know my name. I thought you were dead. No, I've just been hibernating for 15 years to become one with the Veronica virus. Veronica virus? I still have some experiments to perform. Would you care to play along? Your friend awaits you in the Colosseum. You don't want to be late. Kidding me. What's wrong? This guy's gotta hire a new decorator. What do you mean? This palace. I had the same one in Raccoon City. I guess I'll know my way around. Test me, see if I'll obey her orders. Claire, she wants me to kill you. Steve! I won't kill you!
this in the power room. I'm coming with you. It's time this ended. Alexia has to be stopped. I'm gonna finish this, Steve. And then we'll all be free. We'll need to get to the control room first. Why are there so many ants around? at the Colosseum was so much fun, don't you think? Chris! Though I guess sometimes a worker ant will turn on his queen. Chris! Are you okay? Oh, that's right. You two are brother and sister, aren't you? I had a brother once, too. 
He really wasn't much fun. He couldn't even wake me up on time. But I've released him of all his responsibilities. You think everyone in this world is here to serve you, don't you? Serve me? No. I think everyone else is here to serve my experiments. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's start our exciting experiment, shall we? Bad rats aren't meant to run away, you know. How amusing! I can feel Veronica surging through my cells. that my only daughter has become obsessed with the Veronica virus. She has even got to the point of experimenting on her own body. My daughter dreams of unleashing this thing into the world. This last step is the only way I can think of to help her. Whether you are on Umbrella's side or not, please help her. Even though it was he who created my brother and I. But he was such a miserable old man.
get back. Steve's waiting for me. You're right. Let's hurry. This place won't be standing for much longer. <sighs> yeah. What's going on? Where's Steve? <laughs> He's been taken. A star's knife? But this one looks different from yours. Pretty sure I know who it belongs to. Veronica virus, despite Chris's best efforts, was procured by Wesker. He secured Steve's body, which had been infected, and was able to extract the virus, leading to its reappearance in South America. The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually, until the day comes when it can be destroyed. The Umbrella Corporation, creator of the spreading T-virus, has practically collapsed, and no cases involving BOWs have been reported since the Raccoon City incident. According to information we recently retrieved, a former Umbrella researcher contacted a man by the name of Javier Hidalgo in a small South American country. Javier, an ex-drug lord with political ties, disappeared shortly thereafter. Javier Hidalgo, a man equally famous for his extravagant lifestyle. Following his sudden disappearance, we found out that he had attempted to approach Umbrella. Just what are you up to now, Javier? So, you think B.O.W.'s actually exist? Oh, wait. You said you faced him before, huh? This is my first mission with Krauser. He's a soldier with the U.S. Special Operations Command and has quite the resume of accomplishments in the field. But to him, after all he's been through, B.O.W.'s, cryptid, they're all the same. Our guide is in the village up ahead. He'll take us to Empire where Javier is hiding out. Come on, let's move. than just girls that have gone missing. There's no one left.
something's wrong. It smells like... like a battlefield. Battlefield? Hurt. Hey, you okay? What happened here? Krauser, wait! Yeah, what? Something's not right with this guy. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. So this is what Umbrella's virus can do, huh? Yeah. There was something different about this one. Comrade, if that's the toughest these bioorganic weapon things get, then we got nothing to worry about. we're in. These things are hiding everywhere, huh? So that was a B.O.W. too, huh? This is the mark of Javier's men. The sacred snakes. What is Javier doing with this virus? Water keeps rising. This looks like Javier's doing. Son of a bitch must have opened the water gate. You think he knew we were coming? Who knows? I got my doubts about our guide still being alive. Yeah. We'll be dead too if we're not careful. Hey! What was that? Let's find out. Anyone here? Just keep 
moving. All right. The river took the bridge out. This way. Be careful. There's something in the water. Piranhas? Sure are hungry little bastards, aren't they? Get inside! Let's go. Oh, that's our guide. What happened? <laughs> that girl. The girl? What girl? <laughs> she brought devils to this village. <laughs> Escape from Oyer's mansion. I helped her, but then she. Javier's mansion. Wait, where is she now? Hey. Shit, he's gone. He said she escaped from Javier's mansion. Yeah. You think it was one of those missing girls? The sacred snakes traffic organs on the black market. Could have something to do with one of them, yeah. According to our report, there was no conclusive evidence linking the two, but, uh... I think we'll need to track down that girl to find out for sure. Well, now that our guide is dead... She could be our only chance to find Javier's mansion. There should be a boat over by the church. Let's check it out. What was that? Where's the body? Something in the water. It took him. Church is probably over there. Which way should we go? I think this way's better. in here. Let's go over the roof. Okay. There's the church. What the hell? 
hell was that? Where did it go? I think it's gone. Leon, what the hell is going on here? Have you fought these things before? Look, fill me in. I need to know what you've been through. Everything. I told Krauser everything about the Raccoon City incident. He just listened, quietly. But the situation in the village was different from Raccoon. There were controlled BOWs amongst the rest. What happened there? We made our way upstream towards Javier Hidalgo's mansion. The man who could hold the key to uncovering this mystery. <sighs> You don't have to worry. You're fine. We're not going to hurt We're you. We're the ones who saved you. You all right? So, you're the girl, huh? The one from Javier's mansion? The people in the village. What happened to them? They're all dead. We're here on a mission looking for an American who had contacted Javier about a virus. We need to find Javier, and we were hoping you could take us to Amparo. So 
That's Javier's. Yes. I escaped through there. So if we follow this water channel, we should be able to get out of here. You... haven't told us your name yet. Manuela. Pleased to meet you, Manuela. Now, from here on out, I need you to be more careful, all right? You must do as we say, no matter what. That means stay close if you want to get out of here alive, kid. Kiss. This must be the discharge channel. Wait! These little guys don't waste their time, do they? They just keep coming! Let's go. Better stay clear of the water. Like he took his weight loss plan way too seriously. Here comes the cavalry. Got to hell with them. Let's just keep moving. This place is a menagerie of freaks. Javier must not like unexpected visitors. Manuela. How did you make it past all these things? Uh, what do you mean? It's justice. Come on, kid, answer the question. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see anyone I came through here. That's good to know. Wait. Why do you want to find Javier so bad? You saw the traps he set with all those monsters. You really think someone like that should be allowed to walk free? I suppose not. We'll talk about that later. Come on. It's like a maze ahead. You'll need to follow me. down those stairs. Here we go again. This thing sure like to make an entrance. Okay. Let's keep going.
Are you all right? I'm fine. That wasn't so bad. <sighs> oh, great. Which way do we go? This way. going there's a passage of this way that will take us outside so Javier's mansion is close then mm -hmm. so what what did Javier hmm? nothing forget it
Is that you? Leon? Are you all right? Thank God you're okay. I'm so sorry. I got scared and I... I... What were you singing for, kid? You really want to draw attention to yourself right now? At night, whenever I got scared of the dark, my mother would sing to me. You were singing that at the church too, right? Um... It's not safe here. We should keep moving. Wait. I know that voice. It's Javier. Please, my dear, go. Father! What? Hey! Javier has a daughter? That doesn't matter now. Let's go after her. you. You need only to follow my directions for 15 years. This will prevent a transformation. But please, my dear, you must be patient. What the? The man who gave us the Veronica virus told me it would work. The Veronica virus? These Americans cannot save you, my dear. Only I, your father, can help you now. Manuela! Manuela! Veronica. The dreadful horror Claire had encountered. Why did Javier give it to his own daughter? I believe Manuela is infected with the Veronica virus. Which means it could spread throughout this land. But why would Javier infect his own daughter? And how can she maintain her human form? How does she sustain it without transforming into something horrific? Like Steve. Leon! Leon! Oh. Oh. You okay? Not really, but we gotta keep going. Well, that was a nice, refreshing dip, huh? We need to find Javier! The water's risen! Manuela's Javier's daughter. It wasn't in the report. Maybe she was from one of his mistresses. Regardless, she must really hate her father if she came through all this just to get away from him. Well, we can ask her when we find her. But Javier is the one we're after. Not his daughter. 
Remember? Yeah, you're right. Somewhere near the dam entrance, right? Yeah. This looks familiar. Got a good memory, because I've got no clue where we are. Only one way to find out. Let's do this. That's what I want to hear. Stay sharp. It won't open. Forget it. Let's go around the other way. Let's check it out. Let's go this way. Quick! 
water's rising! It's another trap! Yeah! We need to get out of here and fast! Let's move! Time too. Yeah, no shit. We can't fight here. Go, go. Yeah. I mean, Javier doesn't want us to find whatever it is he's hiding. Sounds like it's flooded in there. We'll need to cut the water off first. There's gotta be a valve around here somewhere. Leon! Manuela! How did you get here? Uh, I'm so glad that you're alive. I thought that something might have happened to you. It's all father's fault. I'm just glad that you're... You're not with Javier? I ran away. Manuela, did he do something to you? <laughs> the door can't hold the pressure much longer. We need to stop the water. Manuel, wait! This must be it. I think this is stuck in water.
just full of surprises. Krauser, let's go! Nice if we could finish this up before nightfall, huh? This will take us to the top of the dam. see any hostiles. ask you something before we find your father. Why are you running away from him? Um... Why did Javier infect you with the Veronica virus? And what did he mean by too late? You know, I shouldn't even be standing here, given the circumstances. The virus. I was injected with it as part of my treatment. Treatment? It wasn't my fault. My doctor diagnosed me with the same disease my mother had. He told me there was no chance of recovery. And all we could find out was that only people living in this area contracted it. It... It killed my mother. But somehow... I... Manuela told us everything she knew. When she was 15, she contracted the same fatal disease that her mother had. The Veronica virus was used as a form of treatment, and consequently she recovered. It must have strengthened her cells. However, the virus can severely damage its host's brain cells and, if incompatible, will take them over. Completely. Even Ashford's researchers were unable to control it. There appears to be no exception to this outside of Javier's treatment of Manuela. Somehow, he's managed to keep her from turning into a monster.
Lay on. We should take care of the girl. Before it gets too late. It's only a matter of time, Leon. Before she becomes a threat. Javier knows something. He's been able to prevent Manuela from transforming. I have to take her with me, and find out how. Antivirus weapon protocol number 7600. You're on a special assignment for the President. My mission is to eradicate this virus once and for all. And with your help, I intend to do just that. Well, I am a soldier. One of your orders are from the President. Then I'm on your side. Let's go. Time to kick some ass. He sure went all out on security. Maybe he doesn't like door-to-door -door salesmen. This is Javier's army, huh? The Sacred Snakes. What has he done? A strap of grenades! And let's use them to our advantage. It's our welcoming party. They really shouldn't. This way. I think there's an underground passage. W storeroom? Looks like it. Well, let's not wait around for inventory. <gasps> Shit, we're locked in. They're coming! Your 
must be a way out somewhere. This looks promising. Good job, kid. Let's go! <gasps> what the? Javier's victims. Why would he... Let's keep going. We need to find this guy. Where do we go? Let's try this way. That was close. Look, a letter! <gasps> Who are these guys? They were my doctors. It's my fault. I made them tell me how they cured my illness. And then my father... So where the hell is Javier? There is one place I can look. Somewhere I was never allowed to go. Take us there. What is this? It's a greenhouse. Uh, more like a botanical garden. What the hell is that? Come on! Leon, look. That's the former researcher from Umbrella. Shit. We needed to question him. Well, he's no good to us now. We have no choice. We gotta go up.
We need to get out of here. Okay. Yes. What is this place? Well, it sure ain't the guest room. What's in there? I got a bad feeling about this. These are all human organs. And girls. Manuela! Her organs must be transplanted regularly. What are you talking about? He helps with the pain, keeping the virus at bay. But that's only for the first 15 years. If you had just let me die, none of this would have ever happened. No. I couldn't just watch you die. 
In nature, the predators who prey on others only grow stronger and thrive. You crazy, selfish old fool! Considering you brought my daughter back, I will grant your dad's meaning. Think back in the village. Lenoir, don't come out! Stay in there! Jim! How are we supposed to kill it now? It's 
It's nothing. I don't want to live if it means others have to die. <laughs> I should have done this sooner, Hilda. Stupid Americans. You think you can defeat it, don't you? But you forget that when you look into the depths of the abyss, it swallows you whole. <laughs> you lost Javier. We need some air support. Let's go. What the? Yeah. <laughs> 
because I'm still, still human. But if I were no longer to feel pain, then that would mean that I. No. I choose to die a human.
every time I grow stronger. Everything I devour becomes a part of me. So will you, my man. Witness my divine power! What is this? What's happening? My body! something genetic? Or was she sustained by this land that's so rich with life? The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually until the day it can be destroyed in our bodies, in our souls. <laughs> 